Alright, welcome to my channel. Um, as you can see, I just basically ripped up uh, the, almost my entire spread. Um, today we are going to be doing, I actually screenshotted it, hold on, um, a challenge that was set out from Erin Condren all about Black Lives Matter. So it says we are encouraging you to join the hashtag BLM Planner Challenge starting June 8th. Details and stories. I'm just paraphrasing the stories that um, basically my planner spread is going to be mostly black. Um, it was green as you could have seen previously, um, but you know, to honor the Black Lives Matter movement, I am supporting that 100% fully. And if this is one small way to share my message, I am going to do that. I know that I am not someone that normally does plan with me's before the week starts, but I feel like for me personally, this is too important for me not to address in a plan with me because I know a lot of you love plan with me's. Let's get to planning and then we'll talk about my week as well. So I'm not prepared at all, just FYI. <laughs> I never really am. So I need to pull out a bunch of stuff that I need to use for this spread and I don't know where it all is, so let's see here. All right, so getting started, what I'm going to do is use some washi tape from Simply Gilded. I do apologize for the shadowing. It is pretty late at night. It's like 8.30 right now on Saturday, but you know, this is the time that I'm feeling motivated and able to, you know, carve out some time in my day to get this filmed for you guys. So yeah, we're going to do that. I'm going to try to reuse these little stickers. That's that's the plan at least, but we will see. I'm using an Erin Condren binder in the colorful version if y'all are interested. Um, I know I get a lot of questions on that because I never say what I'm using. It's like always down in the description box, but Again, you know, not everybody looks at the description box and I totally, I totally understand. <laughs> it's like, oh, there we go. Okay, so there's this. And I've actually got a lot of stuff going on this week. Um, quite a few different things that some of you know about and not all of you, I don't know. If you guys follow me on Instagram, that's kind of the place to find all the all the weird stuff I do all the time, so that's a that's a good place to find find me there. Um, I think I'm going to probably work a little later on Wednesday. Normally I go down to like you know six or seven p.m. anyways, but that Wednesday is going to be a very weird day for me. Um, on Thursday, though, I'm only working till four. I know that for a fact because I've got something going on that night and I want to make sure that I am ready. Friday, my brother is supposed to be in town. It's still a little up in the air. Um, all right, so now that I have most of my washi laid, oh, whoops, I gotta, you know what? See, I have not done a plan with me in so long. This video is gonna be really long, by the way, too, so like, if I haven't said it yet, which I don't think I have, but like, we should go grab a snack because Emily likes to be chatty sometimes. Okay, okay. So I am going to put in my little laundry situation, which is right over here. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I wish I would have seen this post earlier, to be honest, like the the Erin Condren challenge um, or the, the challenge to do this because I would have possibly ordered some Black Lives Matter stickers. I might still do that. I'm not really sure, but we will see. I actually got these just recently from Libby and Lou Sticker Co. All the shops that I know of that I am talking about today will be linked down below if y'all are interested. Since I can't really do anything about the green, there is a little bit of green in here and it just says work. So I'm going to use these, which I think are beautiful. So I'm gonna figure out how this is gonna lay down with this. Uh, try to see. Oof. Or should I just take these off totally? Which that might be the best. That may be the best situation at this point. I don't know. Let me pull one off and see what I want to do. Roop. Yeah, yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna keep these on. Okay. You know what? I tried. I, I tried to hold on, but it was not happening. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. 
let's do that. I tried to look for like the work stickers I had. I only have them in colorful versions. I don't have them in a black and white scale. So yeah, but I just thought these would look really nice there. Give a little pop of something. Plus I haven't used these ones yet. So yeah, and they're mostly kind of black, black and gray. Here we go. And don't don't worry about the birthdays just yet because I'm going to change those as well. But those ones are like super sticky. Like even with my undo, which I get on the internet, it just leaves such a residue that I am going to just uh, put a sticker over it because it's just going to be the easiest thing for me to do. All right. So there's this and then there's this. Okay, cool. So that's that. Put that off to the side. Another thing I can put in already because I had a great sticker is Vloon. So let me put this in, but I am going to change it just slightly. I used a blue marker. So I'm going to change that because I want to use all of the black, um, you know, the black stuff today. Here we go. So let me get that changed up. I'm just going to write right over it. Yay, I got to save a sticker. <laughs> it's exciting. I have my little sticker graveyard over here. And then I also have these little black cameras from Adriana Piper, which I absolutely love. So we're going to put that right there. I'll put that off to the side. Okay, so... Now I just got to put in everything else. I have a lot going on this week, y'all. Okay, I'm going to pull out some of these um, things from Coffee Break Planner. I'm going to pull out the gray and also the black. Um, I, I want to use mostly black, but I might use some gray. I'm not really sure, but let's see. Okay, so here's the black. So these are the half boxes in the scallops. And then... She also has event boxes in the scallops. And you, as you can tell, these are like my favorite thing ever because I have so darn many of them. I recently just did a haul on, you know, getting more of these because I do like two, usually it's like two big orders a year. Like I just want to be like stocked up and I want to be able to, you know, once I create a spread, I want to be able to like, you know, do it all. So anyways. But yeah, okay, so I pulled out the black and the gray. So that is pulled out if I need to use them, which I'm sure I will. And as for the birthday things, I have these like sticker books. If I remember, I'll leave the link down below to these. I got them on Amazon and I really like them. I will tell you they're kind of spendy for what they are, but all these like extra stickers that you get on samplers and like little half sheets and things like that, um, I used, I, I pulled them out of here and then I also put all my, most of my Erin Condren things in here too. And it just helps me, well, it makes, it makes me use them. <laughs> That's what I should say. It makes me use them. So I really um, enjoy that. Okay. There's one black one right there for the birthday. And I think that's it for the birthdays, but I think I have more. So let's just do one of them and then we'll move on to the next one. So I need three. We'll do... Oops, we'll do my dad first. And my dad is gonna be 73, y'all. Like, it's a big number. So we're just gonna go right over what I had on there. So that's gonna be just fine. All right, my camera stopped. I know it would because this is, like I said before, gonna be a long ass video doing planning things. So there are no other ones that I can use for this particular spread, which is just fine. So do something else. All right, found some things that I want to use. So we're just gonna cover those guys up and write in Sarah and then Blake. And these are both coworkers of mine. So it just reminds me to um, either send them a text or send them an email or something that day, you know, just make it a little bit more special for them. And since we're all working from home right now, it's basically impossible to, you know, do something physically for them. So yeah, so I have these little icon stickers. 
Um, I know this one's from Christy Ann Designs, this little tie, and then these, I don't remember where they're from, but they're just like a little bunch of black balloons, which I think are really pretty, which is why I kept them. So Monday, as some of you guys know that have been watching my Vloon series, I have to drop off my car. <laughs> I had an issue, some of my lights are on, like my check engine light is on for really, I mean, I know there's a reason, but which is very strange. So I have to get that checked out. So I have to drop off my vehicle at eight o'clock in Maplewood Toyota. But the thing is, I it's like a drop off appointment. So I, I mean, I guess I could wait, but I might be waiting all day. So I don't know. I talked to my mom, she is available. So we're just gonna drive down there. She's just gonna follow me down there and then bring me back home and then hopefully They'll just give me a call when everything's done or if they have any questions, if they can move forward and all that. So my check engine light is on. Also like the image of the car with like the little um, slippy things underneath the tires, that light is on. And there's also another light that's like, I can't remember what it is, but it's like something off and it's flashing. So when I looked inside of my owner's manual, it said specifically if that light is flashing that you need it to bring it, to, you need to bring it to your nearest Toyota dealership because there's a malfunction. So it sounds like that might be just like a computer issue. I don't really know for sure until they get into it. But again, that's what's happening in the morning. So um, we need to leave here about seven because Maplewood Toyota, which is where I purchased my vehicle from, is about an hour away and um, we'll just get it done and I'll drop it off. So I'll work for probably maybe an hour or so in the morning. Um, I'll probably start a little early, clock out, bring the car there, come on back. So it's gonna take about two hours to do, you know, the back and forth and then I'll come back and then I'll work for the rest of the day. So we will get that done. It's just, you know, no, no fun sometimes, <laughs> but oh well, what do you do? All right, so we will do that. I actually already emailed my work peeps and told them that was my plan for Monday, just like, hey, FYI, like I'll be online, but I'll be I'll be back. It's just gonna be a little a little later, so whatever. Doesn't really matter. I can just I can just get her done. Um, also, exciting news that I kind of wasn't planning on sharing, but since I'm doing this video, I'm gonna share it. At 11.30, I hope you get, please fingers crossed for me if you've made it this far in the video. Um, on the 9th, my insurance company and my surgeon's office are finally having a peer-to-peer. -peer. What that means is, I know you guys know that I've been going through some health issues and trying to get a surgery approved by my insurance that's not covered under my blanket insurance, but it is specific to my case. It's the only thing that will surgically fix uh, this bad problem that I have. So anyways, uh, my surgeon and they're like the insurance company's doctor that not denied my initial claim are finally gonna be having their meeting um so fingers crossed send me all the good vibes that you possibly can that that gets approved i won't know anything for probably a couple of weeks i'm just letting you know but i just know that they're having it at 11 30 on tuesday um you know i won't be able to even call the surgeon's office to like ask how it went because it really they won't know, they won't know anything. All they can do is just give the information, explain my case and explain the idiosyncrasies of my case of why I need this surgery and why it's required. And then the insurance company will make a decision. So ugh, I'm excited and I'm nervous and I'm just, you know, like all the things, all the emotions. I'm chomping at the bit about this a little bit. All right, since I don't have any, um, black stickers i'm gonna use some of these kind of gold stickers that go with the foil a little bit so i hope that this is okay um all right and then these are okay oh, so these are from lulu daisies and co i haven't said that i'm sorry and then these are from plan and go um or go <laughs> i don't know how to say it and they had these cute little stomach stickers because it's stomach problems welcome to my stomach problems y'all so yeah for anyone that's new here that doesn't know um i have really horrible acid reflux i have a hiatal hernia and um that being said i was supposed to have surgery on my hiatal hernia however i am not a candidate for that surgery due to i probably have about six or seven different acid blockers and reducers that i'm currently taking and still taking and have been taking for now almost a year and I still have 
reflux. I still feel like I'm gonna puke all the time and that is not good and they won't do the normal surgery on me that my insurance would have covered to fix the problem. Uh, the only thing I can do at this point, it's called gastric bypass surgery, which is a regular, like a medical weight loss surgery, which is something that is not normally something that's covered on most people's insurance because it is quite elective. Uh, I don't qualify for it. However, um, I already went through the entire program. Um, like when I say I don't qualify for it, I mean like my BMI and other health issues. I don't have any other health issues besides this. And that's very abnormal. So um, that's why the insurance company is like having a big conniption about it. So yeah, <laughs> they're like, wait, you don't qualify for this because of this and this and this and this, but they're not looking at the other things that are happening inside of my body. So yeah, but I'm very, very excited that at least this is happening. Um, this is my third time going at insurance for approval. And unfortunately, this is the last time going through insurance for approval for this year, um, unless I hire a private company to fight for me, which it has not gotten to that yet, but I, and I hope it doesn't, but we shall see. After the new year, I am able to reapply again for this to get approved. So it's it's a whole long process. Um, so yeah, it's, it's rough, it's rough. And I know a lot of you guys have gone through stuff like this too because you have messaged me and you have, you know, sent me well wishes and, you know, told me your experience and stuff too. So I don't wish fighting with insurance companies for anybody. It's just, it's no bueno you guys that, you know, someone else is making health decisions for you and not your health care provider, which is just no fun. I mean, every single doctor I've seen has said, this is mandatory, you need this to live a quality life. And my insurance company just does not seem to care because it's, you know, about the almighty dollar for them, sadly. All right, I'm gonna put in my little garbage can here. And these are from Coffee Break Planner. So guy right there. I think I had a green one in there before, but now we need a gray one. All right, I got a gray car on this one, so I think I'll use that. Um, I am going back for a, another countertop appointment at a different facility, so I am excited about that on Wednesday. All right, as some of you know, I am doing new tops in my kitchen so i am actually looking so this appointment here is for my half bath downstairs so i am possibly doing that i'm not totally sure yet we shall see so it just depends on like um looking for remnants that's really what i'm doing is looking for remnants pieces so i'm gonna try to find something that i like if i don't find something that i like that's okay i don't really need to do it but um we'll see i mean the guy the guy that uh is the owner there actually um i know him because i worked in countertopping for a very very long time i'm kind of able to like work out a little like wheel and deal with him a little bit so yeah oh by the way these are from my little chickadee co put those off to the side and then i have a little blobby here from kayla oh my gosh kayla if you're watching this i'm sorry you're company name is totally brain farting um what oh it's oh hello oh my gosh whoo all right so I'll put this in the description down below oh my gosh I'm losing it you guys whoo all right so um after my countertop appointment since it's all the way down in Bloomington and my office is on the way I need to go in the office and actually get like legit stacks of paper so i need to go and do that because i have a project that i need to work on me and my other teammate have basically done everything that we can from home and um my other teammate actually now lives in wisconsin so she's you know remote all the time I'm temporarily remote because of everything that's going on with COVID. Anyway, I was like, well, I'm gonna be in the area. If you wanna get like stuff together for me, I can do these projects. And he's like, okay, I'm gonna get a bunch of stuff ready for you and I'll put it at your desk. I'm like, okay, cool. So anyway, I have some things to do, which is good. Um, we're a little slow, like my department's a little slow right now. Um, don't worry, my job is safe, but my, um, 
department's a little slow right now just to do to oh my gosh i can't lift this up there we go um just due to the flow of our workloads so anyway um we're you know we're just looking for things to do at the moment so just just making sure that we can get stuff done and you know be efficient and use our time wisely so that's happening and then on wednesday oh my gosh you guys i am so excited for wednesday y'all um we are going when i say we i mean me and a couple of friends from work we are going to a place called carol's which is so good if you guys live in minnesota you need to go to carol's in blaine i'm telling you this place is amazing they their food is just like yummy in the tummy it's all like home cooking and they have just amazing desserts so my a couple girlfriends and and myself i can't talk today i'm so excited about it are gonna go there and we are going to have a little parking lot party um they are open for outdoor seating right now but we're just gonna grab our meals to go and then like legit just go sit in the parking lot and like bring our lawn chairs and just you know gab for an hour i mean that's that's all we need we just want to gab for an hour it's totally fine i mean we do talk on the phone and um i mean these are these are actually co-workers of mine you know we do talk on the phone and like through our like microsoft teams and all of that stuff too but it's just so much nicer to see each other in person and just to like say hey and catch up and all that um, one of the gals is actually pregnant. They're the one that I did the um, baby shower for just recently. So it'll be so nice to physically see her in person too. So I don't know. It's just just one of those things. So I'm going to use one of these little uh, Coffee Monsters Co. It's like a little baking sheet because I'm sure, I'm positive that I will be getting something that is a baked good because... Oh my god, and I'm normally like not a baked good kind of gal, but for this, I think I might be. <laughs> I think I might be. Also, forgot, I want to use one of these. These are from Planner Kate. I know they're really hard to see, but these kind of are like little cover-ups for um, this little area. I'm going to use two. I've got two, and that's it for that sheet, which is totally fine because um, I'm moving into a new planner in like a couple weeks here. So I really don't care to save them because I don't need them for the new planner. So that's just fine by me. Okay, what else do I need? Oh, let's break out the, let's bust out the cab binder, y'all. I need to see if I have like a little flag or something. I just need like a little like, like a, like a reminder thing. Um, I just need to remind myself to bring something to the Carol's situation, but I don't need like a big sticker. I need like a littler, a littler sticker, but I don't know if I have any black ones or gray ones. I might have to use a yellow. Oh gosh, I don't know. Let's see, let's see. Oh, here's a little gray one. Ah, perfect. I think this will be fine. Unless, hold on, we're gonna check one more little section here. Do, 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 do. I'll check my little arrow section and see if there's any. Ooh, I like this one better. Yep, hold on, we're gonna do this one. Whoop. We're gonna do one of these, just like a little, little reminder. So, um, when we had the baby shower for my friend Karen, I did a little baby game and it was the price is right was like the theme of the baby game so we had a i went to target purchased a bunch of baby items and then i was just gonna give her all of the baby items clearly because like i don't need diapers well maybe i do but not right now <laughs> so i don't need any diapers so i was just gonna give her everything and then we're gonna meet up for dinner anyway so i'm like well let's just i'll just bring you all this stuff then so we'll just bring the baby gift then so emily bring your baby gift and I'm gonna use these from Plan to Plan Sticker Co. There's this really cute little black um, gift, even though she knows exactly what it is and I'm just gonna bring it just as it is. I'm not gonna wrap it up, but um, super, super freaking cute. Yay. So that'll be that. And then, um, like I said, my brother is going to be in town. Um, I think that's, that's the plan at least. He should be in town for Friday and we're gonna do a family dinner situation. Don't really know exactly what we're gonna do, but we'll do something. 
So this could be like a bigger sticker or a smaller sticker. I'm not really sure what I want to do, but let's see if anything speaks to me. I swear when I'm planning now, I just like thumb through these books to see if I can use anything first before I dip into other things. It's just really helping me actually use up things that are, um, you know, things I may have just like passed over, you know? Sorry, my thing stopped again because like I said, it's gonna be a long video, y'all. Okay, so let me see if I've got, here we go. Here's like a little black utensil, which I'm gonna use this and then this as well. Okay, so here we go. Family dinner. I don't know if we're gonna go somewhere or if we're just gonna order something in. We probably just order something in um, or just make something, which will be fine. I don't know if we're gonna do it at my house or my parents. Not really sure about that yet. So either way, that's fine by me. And since I already have these out, I'm gonna use this. Hold on here. Here is, I already had my little like laundry line from Chrissy and Designs in the black. So I'm just gonna try to reuse this if it doesn't um, totally rip on me, which it co totally could, cause I don't know. I'm not, not very, I'm gentle with a lot of things, but stickers are not one of those things. <laughs> let's see here, whoa. All right, let's see if I can, I'm almost there. Ah, oh, look, I got it. Okay, so I'm just gonna use this big sticker here. Oops. Let's try to center things, Emily. Centering this laundry sticker is like one of the most challenging things, I think. Oh, goodness. And then all these other stickers um, that I'm trying to kind of peel up at the moment, but they're gonna stay here, are also from Chrissy and Designs. So, yeah. Yeah, okay. Look at that. And here's my little graveyard of washi and stickers that will be going in my permanent file, as I like to call it. All right, so this is it for my Black Lives Matter spread for this week, the week of the 8th through the 14th. I encourage you all to do this as well in your planner or somehow commemorate Black Lives Matter in your planner as well. I will be trying to post on Instagram and Facebook and use the hashtag BLM Planner Challenge. Again, I will leave the links down below to all the sticker shops and any other important information that I think is pertinent to this down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to thumbs up, subscribe, do all those things those YouTubers tell you to do, and I will be back with another video very, very soon for you guys. Bye guys. Well folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Give it to me, baby. <laughs> baby. <laughs> yeah.